nearly 90% of Americans say that religion is a major part of their lives. Tonight, John Hashimoto concludes his look at the changing face of worship in America with a visit to a congregation in Concord that is spreading the word of Christ, even though it doesn't have a church to call its own. I need my burns. <laughs> no, this isn't last minute preparations for another performance of Les Miserables. This is Concord's newest Christian congregation, getting ready to spread the word with a musical adaptation of the holiday classic, A Christmas Carol. They call themselves the New Life Community Church, a non-denominational Christian congregation formed just four years ago. It all began as a small Bible study group that was meeting regularly in Concord. I just feel that God was placing that desire in many of our hearts that we wanted to have a church a very biblical-based church right here in our own hometown. The lack of a church has not diminished their sense of identity or unity one bit. We believe that the church is made of living stones, with each member being a minister, having a vital uh, contribution to make. This is the most obvious way the New Life members express their evangelistic calling. Each holiday season, they stage their musical rendition of Dickens' classic tale of redemption at the Concord Playhouse. The play is directed by Reverend McAdam, who also wrote all of the original music. Life members also celebrate their unique fellowship with weekly at-home prayer meetings. They call them life groups. When we meet together, it's generally neighborhood people, and that in itself is fun. And uh, to be able to study the Bible, discuss it, and in fact uh, share our joys or our problems or our cares, and in fact have each other care about one another is really quite excellent. Like a growing number of evangelical churches, New Life has attracted those searching for traditional Orthodox Christian teaching in a non-traditional framework. If you were to ask who are the ministers at New Life Community Church, we would say every member. To New Life members, the freedom to express Christianity in different ways is one of the attractions of their unique fellowship. There isn't a rigidity to, uh, in, in one extreme or another, of having to do things a certain way, but a, a freedom to be, um, be oneself, a freedom to, uh, to really care about one another. a theologian uh, in Germany named Dietrich Bonhoeffer and he described fellowship as life together under the word and uh, basically that's what we see our Christian experience as being a shared life together under the word of God for the 10 o'clock news I'm John Hashimoto and that's our news. I'm Christopher Lydon. Good night.
Whole world doesn't live this way. 